In this video, we want to discuss the friction attribute in the physics pulldown. But before I do that, I'm going to click on my block actor and I'm going to open up my backstage. And I want to make sure that I don't have any of those move behaviors left from other videos that I was working on. We just want gravity in this scene to demonstrate friction. So I still have the collide behavior, which gets my block to collide with the ground. And if I click on my scene tab here, you can see that under gravity, I have Y set to 100, but X is actually set back to zero. That way I get a simulation that looks like this. We have our block falling straight down. Okay, so once you have everything set up like that, let's start experimenting with friction. I'm just gonna grab the ground actor here and rotate it a bit and preview my scene again. Now by default, every actor in Game Salad has a friction value of three. And you can see that that's obviously a very low friction value. Now every actor inside Game Salad can be whatever you want it to be. And essentially they're all the same when it comes to friction. But when you're working with friction, you want to think about objects or actors like real world objects. So for instance, if something has a lot of friction like this ground, it might be a carpet type surface. Or in this case, when we see everything sliding like this, maybe the ground and the block are acting like a piece of ice. So let's go ahead and take our ground surface and convert it from an icy surface to something like maybe sandpaper or a carpet. And the way we do that is, of course, we'll click on our ground actor. We'll click on our actor tab here. And again, I'm going to navigate down to the physics pulldown. And inside the physics pulldown, you can see that we have this friction value of 3. Now, if I were to change that to something like 100, then we've added a lot of friction to the ground. But remember what happened in the bounciness videos? What do you think is going to happen when I preview this now that the ground has a lot of friction? Take a guess. Well, if I preview this, the ground does have a lot of friction, but we still see this cube sliding along the surface. And that's again because we have to pay attention to every single actor inside Game Salad. Just because the ground has a lot of friction doesn't mean that the cube still isn't essentially an ice cube sliding across the surface. So of course we have to increase the cube's friction as well. So I'll back up. I'm going to click on our block actor here, which I was calling a cube. And again, in the actor tab, we're going to scroll down to the physics pull down. And then we're just going to knock this friction value up to 100 as well. So we have two surfaces or two objects or two actors inside Game Salad which have a lot of friction. They started at three and now with both of them having 100, it looks like this. So what you want to do is you want to create a main actor like our blockhead here and give it a friction value of maybe three or 50 or 100. And then you want to create a few different ground surfaces and experiment with having different friction values for those and see what interesting things you can come up with. In fact, if I were to take this ground here and rotate it a bit more severely and give our cube a little bit more of a drop and even rotate this guy a little bit, then maybe I can get a little bit more of an interesting tumble down this surface. Nope, my angle was wrong. Let's try that again. We'll just get the corner hitting the ground surface. And then we can get this guy to tumble a little bit. Now, if I had very low friction, he wouldn't be tumbling like this. He would actually just slide down the surface. So again, experiment with different friction values. And as I said in an earlier video, uh, these physics attributes are really easy to learn, but it's really important to just experiment with them and experiment with different game values, because this is what's going to give you some really great ideas on some very interesting games that you might want to create.